Stevie Nicks, the legendary rock queen and sex symbol, boasts a staggering eight Grammy nominations and 140 million records sold globally. This is her story. Let's begin. In the long history of music, especially rock music, few figures have captivated the hearts of the masses so profoundly as Stephanie Lynn Nix, more commonly known as Stevie Nix. Her poetic songwriting and enigmatic persona shone through her hit songs and have solidified her place as a true icon in the annals of rock and roll. Nick's journey through life unfolded against the backdrop of a family deeply intertwined with the rhythms of music. Her grandfather, a country music singer, nurtured in her a passion for storytelling through melodies. This familial influence formed the foundation upon which Stevie would later build her musical empire. The trajectory of Nick's life echoes the allure of a rock ballad, filled with profound highs, gut-wrenching lows, and a relentless pursuit of artistic authenticity. Yet beneath the veneer of stardom lay a woman whose early years were shaped by a myriad of influences, each contributing to the mosaic of her artistry. Her teenage years marked a pivotal juncture when fate intertwined her path with Lindsay Buckingham, a meeting that would alter the course of not just their own lives, but musical history as a whole. This encounter during their high school years would blossom into a strong personal and professional relationship, sowing the seeds for a partnership that would endure the tests of time. As a burgeoning artist, Stevie Nicks navigated the vibrant music scene of the San Francisco Bay Area, honing her craft as both a singer and a songwriter. Her early forays into music saw her performing with Lindsay Buckingham in the band Fritz, a stepping stone that would later lead to the formation of Fleetwood Mac. The genesis of Fleetwood Mac heralded a new chapter in Nix's life, catapulting her into the spotlight as a member of one of the most iconic and influential bands in the history of rock music. The band's album Rumors a testament to both musical genius and interpersonal turmoil showcased Nick's unparalleled songwriting abilities and hauntingly beautiful vocals, solidifying her as a standout figure in the realm of rock. Yet it wasn't merely within the ensemble of Fleetwood Mac that Stevie Nicks's brilliance shone. Her solo career was equally illustrious with albums like Belladonna and The Wild Heart cementing her status as a solo artist of immense prowess. Beyond her musical talents, Stevie Nicks's enigmatic stage presence and distinctive fashion sense transformed her into a cultural icon. Her trademark shawls, flowing garments and charismatic performances etched an indelible mark on the landscape of fashion and pop culture. However, amidst the glittering success lay personal struggles and battles. Stevie Nicks's life journey was riddled with challenges, including her well-documented struggles with substance abuse. I used to carry a gram of cocaine in my boot at all times. It was the first thing I thought of when I woke up in the morning and the last thing I thought of before I went to bed. And the burdens of fame. These challenges, though formidable, only served to underscore her resilience and unwavering dedication to her craft. Stevie Nicks's life story embodies the intertwining threads of creativity, resilience, and vulnerability. A story of a woman whose musical prowess transcended boundaries, captivating audiences worldwide and leaving an indelible mark on the soul of music itself. This introduction provides a glimpse into Stevie Nicks's early influences, pivotal moments, and the trajectory of her musical journey, setting the stage for a deeper exploration of her extraordinary life. Stephanie Lynn Nicks, famously known as Stevie Nicks, emerged as an iconic figure in the realm of rock music, captivating audiences with her ethereal voice, poetic lyrics, and enigmatic stage presence. Born on May 26, 1948, in Phoenix, Arizona, 
Stevie spent her formative years in a household filled with music and artistic influence. Growing up in a close-knit family, Stevie's passion for music was ignited at an early age. Her grandfather, Aaron Jess, AJ Nix, a country music singer, became a pivotal inspiration, nurturing her love for melodies and storytelling through song. Tragically, Aaron's untimely death in 1974 deeply impacted Stevie, further cementing her commitment to pursuing a musical career in his memory. As a child, Stevie exhibited a keen interest in performing arts, participating in school productions, and honing her vocal talents. Her family's relocation from Arizona to California during her teenage years marked a significant juncture, exposing her to the vibrant music scene of the San Francisco Bay Area. While attending Menlo Atherton High School, Stevie met Lindsay Buckingham, a meeting that would profoundly shape her personal and professional trajectory. The duo's musical chemistry and romantic relationship laid the foundation for a partnership that would endure through the highs and lows of their careers. In her late teens, Stevie embarked on her musical journey, performing with Lindsay in a folk rock band named Fritz. The band gained local recognition, providing Stevie with invaluable experience and exposure to live performances, refining her stage presence and songwriting skills. Despite the dissolution of Fritz, Stevie's aspirations remained resolute. She continued her pursuit of music, embracing the burgeoning folk rock scene and refining her craft as a singer-songwriter. Her experiences during this period laid the groundwork for the introspective and evocative songwriting that would later define her illustrious career. The early struggles and setbacks Stevie encountered in her quest for musical success served as catalysts for resilience and determination. Her unwavering dedication to her artistic vision and relentless pursuit of excellence would soon catapult her into the spotlight, but not without enduring personal and professional challenges along the way. Stevie Nicks's formative years reflect a period of artistic exploration, perseverance, and the forging of lifelong connections that would profoundly influence her musical legacy as she navigated the vibrant yet competitive music scene of the late 1960s and early 1970s, Stevie's journey towards stardom was poised to unfold, setting the stage for her meteoric rise to prominence as a solo artist and member of the iconic band Fleetwood Mac. When we said that Stevie's partner Lindsay Buckingham would play a pivotal role in her career, we weren't kidding. The fact of this is most apparent at the beginning of her career as the two stars started off their journey together as a duet. Her musical odyssey commenced with her early performances in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The two partners recorded demo tapes at night and constantly passed them around in their hunt for success. In 1973, they signed with Polydor Studios and released their first album, Buckingham Nicks. But it wasn't as successful as they hoped it would be, and the studio later dropped both artists. Following shortly after the failure of their first album, Buckingham was hit mononucleosis, otherwise known as the kissing disease, due to it being transmitted through saliva. The two had to backpedal on their music careers, with Stevie taking on multiple jobs at the same time, in order to take care of Lindsay. It was during this time that the future rock star would happen on a chance encounter with famous producer Keith Olsen while working as a cleaner in his house. Here, both the artist and her partner Lindsay were exposed to a number of hard drugs, chief among them being cocaine. But we'll get to all that later. Fast forward one year to 1974, and Keith Olsen played the track Frozen Love for Mick Fleetwood, who was in California in search of a new recording studio. The drummer took rather well to the track and wanted to have the minds behind its production behind him. Originally, he was only going to take on Lindsay Buckingham, but the guitarist vehemently refused to be taken on without his significant other, Stevie Nicks, claiming they were a package deal. After some deliberation, 
Mick and the other members of the band decided to allow both artists into the band with the idea that the duo would bring some much needed improvement to the team. This was the forming point of the Fleetwood Mac band we all know and love. The integration of Stevie Nicks and Lindsey Buckingham into Fleetwood Mac birthed the album Fleetwood Mac in 1975, which propelled the band back into the limelight. However, it was the release of Rumours in 1977 that cemented Fleetwood Mac's place in music history. Nix's poignant compositions, including Dreams and Gold Dust Woman, showcased her profound songwriting prowess and emotive vocal delivery. The album became an unparalleled success, selling millions of copies and earning critical acclaim, defining an era with its introspective yet universally relatable themes. Now, a career this illustrious is already an astounding height for most, but Nix didn't stop there. She also had a solo act aside her long run with the band. Stevie Nicks's solo career represents a distinct chapter in her musical journey that showcased her standalone abilities and solidified her standing as an influential artist outside of her success with Fleetwood Mac. Following the monumental success of Fleetwood Mac's Rumours, Stevie Nicks embarked on her solo career, driven by a desire to explore her individual creative expressions. Her debut solo album, Belladonna, released in 1981, was so well received by fans that it stands as one of her most successful albums to this day. Belladonna swiftly ascended the charts, propelled by the hauntingly powerful hit single Edge of Seventeen. The song, with its thunderous guitar riffs and emotionally charged lyrics, became an anthem, captivating audiences and cementing the artist's position as a force to be reckoned with in the music industry. Beyond the resounding success of Edge of Seventeen, Belladonna boasted an array of tracks that showcased the depth and diversity of Nix's artistry. Songs like Stop Dragging My Heart Around, a duet with Tom Petty, Leather and Lace, featuring Don Henley, and After the Glitter Fades, resonated with audiences, showcasing her ability to craft emotionally resonant and melodically rich compositions. Her subsequent solo albums further underscored her prowess as a solo artist. The Wild Heart, 1983, continued the streak of success, featuring hits like Stand Back and Nightbird, the album showcased a blend of rock, pop, and Nick's signature mystical lyricism, reinforcing her status as a distinctive solo performer. Rock a Little, 1985, furthered her exploration into diverse musical styles, delving into synthesizer-driven sounds while retaining her signature storytelling and introspective themes. Though facing challenges in her personal life during this period, Nix's artistry remained undiminished, and the album boasted notable tracks such as I Can't Wait and Talk To Me. Even in the late 1980s, with The Other Side of the Mirror, 1989, Nix continued to captivate audiences with her evocative storytelling. While not reaching the commercial peaks of her earlier works, the album featured singles like Rooms on Fire, demonstrating her ability to craft compelling narratives within her music. Throughout her solo career, Stevie Nicks' albums achieved significant commercial success, earning platinum and multi-platinum certifications, and solidifying her as a singular musical force outside the realm of Fleetwood Mac. Moreover, her distinct vocal style characterized by its ethereal quality and emotional depth, continued to resonate with audiences worldwide. Her ability to infuse personal experiences into her songs, coupled with her unique storytelling and emotive delivery, remains an enduring hallmark of her solo work. This long history in the entertainment industry is sure to bear fruition in the realm of achievements and Stevie Nicks' run is no different. Besides the tidbits we've already mentioned, 
Let's take a deep dive into all of her achievements. Due to the dual nature of her career, being part of a band and also working solo, her achievements are similarly dual-natured. 1. Rumours Album Stevie Nicks played a pivotal role in creating the iconic album Rumours. Her songwriting and performances on tracks like Dreams and Gold Dust Woman contributed to the album's massive success. Rumours remains one of the best-selling albums of all time, winning the Grammy Award for Album of the Year in 1978. 2. Enduring Influence and Chart Success As a member of Fleetwood Mac, Nix contributed to a string of hit albums including Fleetwood Mac, Tusk, Mirage and Tango in the Night. These albums showcased her songwriting prowess and helped cement Fleetwood Mac's status as one of the most influential bands in rock music. 3. Revitalizing the band's sound Stevie Nicks, alongside Buckingham, brought a unique dimension to Fleetwood Mac's sound. Her contributions were integral to the band's success, breathing new life into their music and captivating audiences worldwide. 4. Induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame In 1998, Fleetwood Mac, including Stevie Nicks, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, recognizing the band's profound impact on music history. Her solo career achievements are likewise as impressive as her run with the band. 1. Her debut solo album, Bella Donna, Bella Donna achieved massive success, reaching number one on the Billboard 200 chart in 1981. It produced enduring hits like Edge of Seventeen and Leather and Lace, and proved to fans that Nix could produce compelling work by herself. It also enlightened for the masses the depth of her contributions to the success of the band. 2. Multi-Platinum Success Several of Nick's solo albums achieved multi-platinum status, including Bella Donna and The Wild Heart, demonstrating her commercial viability as a solo artist. 3. Grammy Nominations and Awards Stevie Nicks received multiple Grammy nominations for her solo work, highlighting her songwriting and performance abilities. Her nominations include Best Female Rock Vocal Performance for Edge of Seventeen and Best Album Package for Bella Donna. 4. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Induction as a Solo Artist In 2019, Stevie Nicks made history by becoming the first woman to be inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Twice, once as a member of Fleetwood Mac and again as a solo artist. This honor recognized her unparalleled contributions to music across different spheres and her impact on the rock scene as a whole. Speaking of impact, Nix's similarly had sway in the public eye beyond her music. Beyond her musical prowess, Stevie Nix's stage presence is an integral aspect of her allure. Her performances were not merely concerts, but immersive experiences characterized by her mesmerizing presence, distinct fashion sense, and storytelling prowess. Draped in chiffon shawls, twirling to the rhythm, she transported audiences into a world woven with mystique and emotion. Nix's stage persona mirrored the ethereal essence of her music captivating audiences with her raw vulnerability and magnetic charm. Her unique ability to connect with fans, infusing each performance with genuine emotion, transformed her concerts into spiritual gatherings, evoking profound emotions among her devoted followers. We've done an almost complete dive into Nick's career and all the success she's amassed over the years. At this point, there should be no doubt about all of this woman's contribution to the entertainment industry. Like many other people, however, her long journey is marred with a good number of mistakes she's made along the way, chief among them being her excessive drug use during the period. Let's take a look at her spiral through drug addiction and all the problems it wrought. As we mentioned briefly earlier, Nick's first introduction to drugs came shortly before her ramp to fame. In the days when she worked as a cleaner for famous producer Keith Olsen, the soon-to-be star had her first run-in with cocaine. 
In a 2006 interview with ABC News, the artist opened up about how she found the line of coke intentionally left lying around by her employer to see if she was thorough in her cleaning work. Unfortunately for her, she was. She was not surprised the drug lying around either, as at the time, the height of the 70s and 80s, drug and cocaine had become so normal that it was trivialized in the eyes of, well, everyone. It was then that she first tried the drug and became a regular user since. Stevie Nicks's rise to fame with Fleetwood Mac brought her immense acclaim, but also subjected her to the pressures and pitfalls of stardom. The artist cites this as her major reason for always returning to the drug. The pressures, deadlines and stress all got to her and led her to finding some way of relieving that stress. Cocaine was a happy candidate. When speaking of the trivial nature of cocaine and other recreational drugs at the time, Nix mentions that her and all the other members of the band were drug addicts, though at some point she doesn't know exactly when she became the worst of them. At this point, Nick's use of the drug had escalated from a pure recreational fancy to a full-on and very heavy reliance on the drug to operate. By the time the Rumours album rolled around, she was completely and fully addicted to the drug. The artist also details that cocaine was not the only drug that she did. In those days, she was also a frequent user of marijuana or pot and many other hard drugs. She similarly details a vicious cycle between the drug use and alcohol. Taking the cocaine would make you feel alive, but also add on a nervous edge. To calm that nervous edge, you would take a shot of alcohol, but then you might get too drunk. In order to wake yourself back up, you'd need another line of cocaine. The cycle continues and you spiral deeper and deeper into doom. The excessive use of cocaine and other substances began to affect Nick's health, leading to physical and emotional strain. The toll was evident in her performances and personal life, as the demands of her career clashed with the downward spiral caused by addiction. The rock and roll lifestyle, replete with late night parties, touring and the allure of substances, posed a constant threat to Nick's well-being. The relentless cycle of addiction continued to cast a shadow over her creativity and personal life, creating tumultuous experiences that were difficult to escape. Notably, her excessive snorting of cocaine had left a coin-sized hole in her nostril discovered by a plastic surgeon. Coincidentally, Nick's journey back away from the drugs started with that fated afternoon with her plastic surgeon, the news about her nose and how close she was brushing death truly scared her enough that she began considering quitting the drugs and leaving the party life behind. She would eventually follow her bandmates' advice and register at the Betty Ford Clinic for rehab, and that is where her journey back began. According to the actress, the service cost around $50,000 from start to finish a small fee compared to the literal millions she spent on the drugs themselves, but no shabby figure either. For Nix, it was just the cherry on top of all the other reasons she deeply regrets and resents ever using drugs in the first place. Despite the magnitude of her addiction, Stevie Nix eventually confronted her demons and sought help to overcome her struggles. The journey towards recovery was arduous, marked by setbacks and relapses, but it was a testament to her resilience and determination to reclaim control of her life. Nix's candid discussions about her battles with addiction shed light on the darker side of fame, providing a cautionary tale about the perils of succumbing to substance abuse in the pursuit of artistic expression. Her willingness to share her story and advocate for sobriety reflects a profound commitment to raising awareness about the dangers of addiction within the music industry. In later interviews, Stevie Nicks spoke openly about her past struggles, emphasizing the importance of seeking help and support for those grappling with addiction. 
Her journey serves as an inspiration for others battling similar challenges, highlighting the possibility of recovery and redemption even in the face of daunting obstacles. Stevie Nicks's life has been punctuated by a series of captivating and often tumultuous romantic relationships, each leaving an indelible mark on her personal and creative journey. The most prominent and enduring of these relationships was with Lindsay Buckingham, her high school sweetheart turned musical collaborator in Fleetwood Mac. Their passionate bond was the cornerstone of the band's sound, yet the intensity of their personal and professional connection was riddled with complexities. The pressures of fame, the demands of their musical partnership, and the intricacies of their romantic involvement led to emotional upheavals, eventually culminating in the dissolution of their romantic relationship. Despite their breakup, the remnants of their connection persisted, fueling the fiery dynamics within Fleetwood Mac and shaping the lyrical essence of their music. Songs like Silver Springs and Go Your Own Way are believed to reflect the complexities and heartache stemming from their fractured relationship. Beyond Buckingham, Nix's romantic history encompassed encounters with musicians such as Don Henley and Joe Walsh, among others. These relationships were marked by passion, heartbreak, and often served as sources of inspiration for her songwriting. Stevie Nicks' romantic involvements with Don Henley and Joe Walsh, both musicians in their own right, contributed to the emotional tapestry of her life, influencing her music and personal journey. Stevie Nicks and Don Henley, a pivotal member of the Eagles, shared a passionate yet turbulent romantic relationship during the peak of their careers. Their connection was characterized by a profound emotional intensity that found expression in their music. Their collaboration on the song Leather and Lace, released in 1981, served as a musical testament to their romantic entanglement. The song encapsulated the contrasting personalities of Nix and Henley with their distinct voices weaving a tale of love, vulnerability, and mutual admiration. Leather and Lace showcased the emotional depth of their relationship, offering listeners a glimpse into the intricacies of their romantic bond. However, the relationship was marked by the pressures of their respective careers, personal struggles, and the demanding nature of the music industry. The intensity of their connection ultimately led to the dissolution of their romantic involvement, but their musical collaboration endured as a testament to the lasting impact of their relationship. Following her relationship with Don Henley, Stevie Nicks embarked on a romantic journey with Joe Walsh, guitarist for the Eagles, and a talented musician in his own right. Their relationship blossomed amidst the backdrop of the rock and roll lifestyle, characterized by a shared passion for music and a mutual understanding of the challenges inherent in the industry. Their romantic involvement was marked by a camaraderie rooted in a deep appreciation for each other's musical talents. All I'm saying is that we were seeking refuge, kind of, in each other's presence. Nick's and Walsh's relationship was captured in their collaborative efforts, with Walsh contributing guitar work to some of Nick's solo work during the early 1980s. Their bond, however, was not immune to the strains of their individual careers and the demanding nature of the music industry. While their romantic relationship eventually came to an end, their musical collaborations endured as a testament to the creative sparks ignited by their personal connection. Stevie Nicks's relationships with Don Henley and Joe Walsh left an indelible imprint on her music. Songs such as Sarah and Edge of Seventeen are believed to have been influenced by these relationships, weaving tales of love, heartache and personal struggles into the fabric of her lyrical narratives. Her relationships, tumultuous and emotionally charged, served as both muses and adversaries, influencing her creative process and shaping the lyrical narratives that defined her music.
Stevie Nicks's romantic entanglements stand as poignant reflections of the joys and tribulations of love, immortalized in her heartfelt and evocative compositions. Though Stevie was not known for affairs, there was one highly publicized affair that she had with Mick Fleetwood. The affair happened just after the release of the band's Rumors Hit. According to the artist, it started while the band was celebrating one night and the two were the last to leave the party. One thing led to another, and she found herself in a short affair with her bandmate. Nick cites this affair as just another one of the consequences of her drug problem, and said that the affair was doomed from the start. That's good. You cherish that friendship, obviously. Very much so. She's a soulmate. And that's about it. A deep dive into Stevie Nick's journey through Hollywood, her life, her loves, and her problems. It was interesting to see how much of an emotional artist she was, allowing the current happenings of her life and the things that influenced her the most at the time to seep into her music. This created the most heartfelt, beautiful, and creatine pieces of music Hollywood has seen till date. It is no wonder that her achievements culminated into her becoming a two-time Hall of Famer in rock and roll. As an icing on the cake of her story, she was also able to fight off and overcome her harrowing addiction and walk the path that led her to the woman she is today. So here's to Stevie Nicks, the queen of rock and roll. If you like this video, you'll love the one that's showing on your screen. Click now and we'll see you in the next one.